Hey, what's up, guys? This your girl Deidre here with another episode video for you guys. And, well, we got contact with, I guess, our partner on this. And we about to find out what is good. So, let's see what happens. I don't know. So, <laughs> I just, I swear, this it's just so many twists and turns. I have no idea how this is going to play out. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, we, a, a flashback of my mother. All right. Ugh. Did you shrink this dress in the wash? I can't get it to zip up. It was dry clean, madam, as per your instructions. Well, don't just stand there. Go get. Go get me the black one. Which black one? Which black dress, madam? The nice black one, idiot. That's the one that Ramon likes. Oh, wow. This woman was just awful. What are you doing in my room? You gave me a fright. Are you going out, mommy? It's none of your business, but yes. Well, gosh. You don't gotta be stuck, boy. What do you want? Gosh, she's just awful. I thought you were going to bring me to watch a movie today. What? Why on earth, why on earth would I do that? I asked you last week and you said okay. Wow, then she laughed at her. Did I? I must have missed I, I must have been distracted. I'm busy. Why are you still here? Go and do some homework or something stupid, girl. Oh my god, she's so irritating. She needs to learn to stay in her room where I don't have to see her. Ugh, I'm going to be late for my date. She is just... From the start, just was not right. Deidre? Oh, that must be the maid or, or whatever she is. Has mommy left? Yes, miss. I have a surprise for you. What is it? Oh, that, that's even worse. It was her birthday? Happy birthday, sweetie. Thank you, Bray. You remembered. Of course I did. Now come down to the dining room and you can have a slice of this. It's chocolate, your favorite. But mommy doesn't like me to be outside my room unless it's lunchtime or dinner time. She just went out and she won't be back for some time. She'll never know. Okay. That's even worse. It, it was my birthday and my mother did that. Why? Where are you taking me? You'll see. Almost there. Where is Oliver taking me? Is the blindfold really necessary? Well, no. But it makes it more fun. I guess. Just a few more steps. What's he what's he doing? Okay. Ready? What's he doing? Oh. It's beautiful. Where are we? Newfound Lake. It's one of my favorite getaways here in New Hampshire. I wanted to share it with you. He's so sweet. <laughs> Yay, thank you. It's amazing. It really is pretty. Oh! Oliver had laid out a picnic on a meadow just by the lake. It was absurdly romantic. Particularly for a guy like Oliver who has so much money and who could buy practically anything in the world. That's true. Our first date, he flew us to freaking France just for dinner on one of them new so, uh, sonic jets. <laughs> All right. Instead, he's done this, something that he actually put a lot of thought and effort in. It moved me much more than some expensive present. I felt overwhelmed. He's sweet. Well, damn it. I wouldn't have done this if I knew it'd make you cry. What'd I do wrong? No, I... I love it. 
Thank you so much. Yes, it was so sweet. I'm glad you like it. I hope you bought your swimsuit like I asked you. This lake is great for swimming. He really is a water bug. <laughs> Let's go swimming. Come on. All right. Oliver smiled, so I joined him in the lake. The water felt <laughs> delicious on my skin, cooling me down from the summer heat. He held my waist as I wrap around as I wrap my arms around his neck. We started kissing slowly as I wrapped my legs around his waist. His skin felt hot against mine, his muscular body hard under my embrace. I'm sorry, baby, but I want to have my dessert now. <laughs> He's such a freak. <laughs> it's always something with him. What, before dinner? Yeah, I'm more hungry for you than food right now. <laughs> He's ridiculous. Later on, we watched the sunset as we ate. The air started getting colder as it got darker, but I was warm in Oliver's arms. Oh my gosh, I think I'm a little drunk from all that champagne. Are you sure it's customary to finish an entire bottle of champagne among two people for a picnic? Oh, definitely. Look at all those stars, though. Aren't they something? Wow, that is a nice view. I give him that. That's nice. It's so beautiful. Almost as beautiful as the girl laying next to me. <laughs> you don't have to seduce me anymore. You know I'm already yours. Just telling the truth, babe. <laughs> I wonder if he would still like me if he found out the truth. That had maneuvered myself into his life under the orders of a puppet master. That I was spying on him and that he shouldn't trust me. Would it make a difference if I told him that I was now undercover for the CIA? Uh, what are you thinking about? Oh man, I went, oh my gosh. What's wrong, babe? Oh, uh, you going, really? Oh, we going to tell him? Uh, I'm not who you think I am. You mean you're not Deidre Edge? <laughs> who are you and what have you done with her? I can't tell him anything. It would it would it would not only jeopardize the mission, it would put his life in danger. He's safe for not knowing. If he hates me afterwards, so be it. Hey, look at me. I have the feeling that there's something you're not telling me, but I don't care what it is. I really care about you, okay? And whatever it is that you're not telling me, I doubt it would change what I'm feeling for you. It's okay if you're not ready to confine in me yet. I'll be here when you're ready. Okay? Come here, babe. He's a nice guy. <laughs> Who knows how he'll feel about me afterwards, but he's, he's great for this. As I buried my face against Oliver's neck, I tried to lock this moment in my memory. I wanted to be able to relive this moment again in the future. Because I know that no matter what he said, no matter what he felt now, he was going to hate me when he eventually found the truth out. But for the moment, at least, as he gently ran his fingers through my hair, we were happy. It's like, I guess you just got to notice it, huh? Wait. Oh, it's from Jamie. Guess who just arrived at the airport in a cab right now? We'll be at Deerwoods in half an hour. How exciting is this? Can you meet me at the campus entrance, please? I don't know where to go. Oh, man. My best friend from Manhattan is arriving in school in half an hour. Oh, is she visiting you? No, she's transferring here, too. I think she's expecting me to meet her there. That's all right. We should be heading back anyway. I'm coming. I'm coming. Ugh. Where is that girl? Jamie! Hey. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I was out when I received your text. Were you waiting long? Nah, reached here five minutes ago. Ooh, who is this hottie? Hey, I'm Oliver. Radcliffe? 
You're dating Oliver Redcliffe? I, I cannot say the name right. Ref, Ref Chaldi. I'm just going to go back to saying like last name. Last name I can't pronounce because I'm having trouble here. Girl, you've been holding out on me. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Later. Wow. <laughs> Look at her. Oh my God, he's so fit. You lucky bitch. She's not jealous, is she? Weren't you starting on Monday? It's only Friday. I wanted to fly in early and get settled in before class started. And from the looks of it, you have so much to catch me up on. I guess so, goodness. Look, let's go up to your room, open this bottle of wine, and you can tell me all about it. You were carrying a bottle of wine in your handbag? What? Doesn't everyone? I love her. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Me too, girl. Me too. Oh my gosh. You know what? She 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 might be like my real life friend Chris. Cause my real life friend Chris always has a bottle on her. If it's not her, it's me. So <laughs> this ought to be fun. Oh this is exciting. I wonder what it's gonna be like having my bestie at the school now. I guess we'll find out. But until then, that's the end of this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think is going to happen next. I'll catch you later, guys. Bye.